everybody. So today it's a little bit of a different view than uh, we're used to, but coming to you from on top of the RV. And I wanted to uh, do this video series. Um, it's a little bit different than I originally had planned on it being due to the fact that we, uh, during the moving process, uh, and everything running around like crazy everything else ended up losing about three days worth of footage that we had shot um, regarding the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger system and a bunch of the uh, video that we had shot um, in order to do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, products um, with what we are using now and I am going to try to um, obtain another uh, Wi-Fi Ranger system. I returned the one that I had um, due to the results that I got from it uh, and not being happy with it. And so unfortunately I don't have it anymore, um, but uh, we do have you know, the current system that we're utilizing, um, I'll be able to talk to you about the differences that I see. And like I said, hopefully at some point I'll be able to get my hands on another one. Maybe somebody we run into will have one or whatever. I'm not going to purchase another one because they are extremely expensive, um, which was one of my number one um, complaints about the system. So now, once again, I'm going to go back to the fact of this isn't me trying to, you know, tear down any one product or anything else like that my whole thing is about just saving money and at the end of the day if you can get the same uh, quality of service you get the same um, uh, results without spending that much money then i'm going to encourage you to do so so what we're going to do is we're going to do a three-part series and today we're going to do a video about the captify antenna and wireless adapter by Radio Labs. Um, now, I actually have three products of theirs that I want to talk to you about. Two are USB antennas, uh, and then the third is the uh, USB Wi Fi router and that works with these antennas. So, um, the antennas can be purchased and utilized alone or they can be used with the uh, USB router. So basically if you buy it by itself, if you have, say if you're in an RV and you have just one single computer that you utilize uh, inside your RV, um, then really there's no need to get the USB router. Now, if you're like us, where you have multiple computers, you have multiple iPhones, you have multiple iPads, or multiple tablets, blah, 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 then you would want the USB router. And I'll explain more about why you would want that in part three. But for now, we're going to talk about the Captify um, antenna by Radio Labs. And um, this equipment, just like the Wi-Fi Ranger, was purchased by me. Uh, it was not given to me. Um, there is, uh, I'm not being paid to talk about the product or promote it. Um, I'm just giving you a rundown of what we utilize and what works for us. And we have had extremely good success with this system. So the Captify antenna I have on the RV, I have the other antenna that we'll talk about in part two on my trailer that is my remote office. And um, I have the USB Wi-Fi router inside the RV normally connected to this Captify antenna. However, at this time I'm just going to show you the using the antenna in a single computer environment and then in part three we'll talk about how you can use either of these other antennas along with uh, many of the other antennas that Radio Labs sells along with the USB Wi-Fi router. The Captify is an 8 dB omnidirectional antenna. Now what I really like about the Captify is that it's only like nine and a half inches tall. And so for me, what I did is when we got this RV, it had one of the wing mount or wing uh, antennas 
that uh, somebody had obviously not put down and they had hit something with it and it broke it off and it was just laying on top of the RV up here. Um, so I cut it off and I don't use that system at all. And so um, what we did is we just tuck the Captify and just zip tied it to that um, extendable antenna mount and what that does is gives me the ability when we're parked to just raise that up and um, get a little bit of extra um, height out of it and it's made a, a decent difference um, what I will say is that for nine and a half inches this is an amazing antenna the other antenna that I'll show you in part two is like 63 inches it's a wonderful antenna but um you could literally just put this antenna it's got a marine mount on the bottom of it right here so right here is a marine mount and you can just use any collapsible marine mount and you could put it right on to the top of the rv and if you look over here you'll see that little antenna sticking up which is just an fm antenna but if I were to take a marine mount and put that up here, the Captify, it wouldn't be any higher than that. So literally you could leave it up all the time. Um, so there's really no reason not to do that. I just wanted to get some extra height out of it and I had that available to me, which is the only reason I did what I did there. So um, anyways, so I put it on there and then I just ran the cable down uh, and into a window and when we're driving I just pull it a little bit tight and, and you know close the window snugly up against it and it does just fine. Now I am going to go through and put some a turn -a bond on and just hold the cable permanently eventually. Um, I've just been so busy doing other things I haven't gotten a chance to complete that um, but the way that I've had it has worked um, amazing. So let's go back inside and sit down in front of the computer and what I want to do is show you what I pick up with my computer um, before plugging in the Captify to it and after. And like I said, with this antenna, you can use it directly with any computer. It works with Macs, it works with um, uh, Windows computers. And you literally just, like with Windows, even Windows 10, you just plug it in. It loads the drivers for you and you're done. It does come with a disc if for any reason the drivers don't load or the OS you have don't have it built in, then you can load them. Um, but it uh, in, in, the, in Windows 10, it just loads the drivers for you and literally you're done. So it's fantastic. Um, and I'll show you the difference we get, but um, I think you'll be quite surprised at the comparison between having it plugged in and not having it plugged in. So, all right. Let's take a look. All right, so here is the Radio Labs website for the Captify. And they have a little uh, about video on their site that you can look at and see more about it. All right, so without the Captify plugged in, here in the San Benito campground, you can see that we have my MiFi hotspot that has, um, you know, all but one bar as far as service goes, and you have a couple of the um, uh, public routers. Uh, they're they're public Wi-Fi. Um, routers that you can see and then a few that have really low signal and that's what we're picking up with just the Wi-Fi built into the laptop. So this is the cord for the Captify antenna coming in through the window there and just running down to this USB plug. So let's take a look once again, here is what we are seeing without the uh, or without the antenna plugged in. When we plug the antenna in, you will see a change. And you'll see that up here there is now a selection box. And now if we look at those same connections, 
you can see that we have much stronger signal and we also have actually more uh, connections by yeah. far than we did before yeah. and you can see that most of those that we are picking up a very good signal all right so as you can see you know you get a, a, a major boost as far as the ability to pick up networks the ability to use those networks when i did the head-to-head -head comparisons with the wi-fi ranger i found that um, the, the Captify antenna performed just as well, if not better, in several situations um, than the Wi-Fi Ranger. Where the Wi-Fi Ranger does have an advantage is that it is AC compatible, um, and this uh, antenna is uh, a BGN um, uh, antenna of uh, Wi-Fi. But that being said, most people don't realize this, but AC networks do not have the range that BGN networks do, um, even though they are higher throughput. But you also have to remember that most networks that especially RV parks have, will never take advantage of, or not for a very long time, take advantage of having AC bandwidth because they just don't have the bandwidth uh, on their connection to be able to give that. Uh, throughput uh, to other people. Until that is a realization, uh, there's just no reason to be worried about that. And like I said, the BGN networks are always going to be better range than the AC, so you're normally always going to be connecting to them anyways when you're connecting out to a network that's further away. Now, if you can pick up an AC network and it's right there nearby, then you're going to be able to pick it up with the regular Wi-Fi network or whatever. When I'm connected directly to the MiFi from my laptop, it's an AC network and I connect to it, but it also has a BG network, um, BGN network. So I, you know, all, if I'm using the antenna, I can connect it. Either way, it's no big deal. Um, but like I said, now here is the big comparison and this is where my um, I was talking to you guys earlier and I said, you know, to me it's about a cost to benefit ratio. And I want to show you guys why I believe this is a much better option for most people than the Wi-Fi Ranger. Now, you can do your own research to see the price of the Wi-Fi Ranger so that I'm not quoting their price and I don't hear people going, oh, but you can get it cheaper, blah, 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 but... I can guarantee you, you cannot get it for that price. The Captify antenna you can get for $139.95. $139.95 for this antenna that, like I said, will pick up the same number of networks and give you the same performance, if not better, than you're getting out of the Wi-Fi Ranger. All right, so stay tuned for part two in this series where we will talk about the Wave RV Marine XL antenna, which is the other antenna that I use on my work trailer. Um, like I said, it's a different antenna. Like, I love it um, uh, to death. It has been an awesome performing antenna. The big difference between it and the Captify is it's 63 inches long uh, versus nine and a half inches on the Captify. So. You know, with it, I have to swing it up and swing it down when we're stopped and so forth. With the Captify, you could leave it up all the time if you wanted to. Um, and could just put it on a marine mount and mount it there. It'd be fine. Um, with the Wave RV, uh, you know, I wanted to compare. And, um, and we'll talk about the comparison of performance between the Captify and the Wave RV Marine XL antenna in part two of this series which we will get posted here in the next couple of days oh no part two part two part two deuce deuce see there's some translation even in my videos so <laughs> doing good anyways we will see you later goodbye
they can be used with the a USB router. So basically if you buy it by itself, if you have, say if you're in an RV and you have just one single computer that you utilize uh, inside your RV, um, then really there's no need to get the USB router. Now if you're like us where you have multiple computers, you have multiple iPhones, you have multiple iPads, or multiple tablets, blah blah blah, then you would want the USB router. And I'll explain more about why you would want that in part three. But for now, we're gonna talk about the Captify um, antenna by Radio Labs. And um, this equipment, just like the Wi-Fi Ranger, was purchased by me. Uh, it was not given to me. Um, there is, uh, I'm not being paid to talk about the product or promote it, the uh, one product or anything else like that. My whole thing is about just saving money. And at the end of the day, if you can get the same uh, quality of service, you get the same um, uh, results without spending that much money, then I'm going to encourage you to do so. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a three-part series and today we're going to do a video about the Captify antenna and wireless adapter by Radiolabs. Um, now I actually have three products of theirs that I want to talk to you about. Two are USB antennas uh, and then the third is the uh, USB Wi-Fi router and that works with these antennas. So um, the antennas can be purchased and utilized alone or <clears throat> Everybody. So today it's a little bit of a different view than uh, we're used to, but coming to you from on top of the RV. And I wanted to uh, do this video series. Um, it's a little bit different than I originally had planned on it being due to the fact that we, uh, during the moving process uh, and everything, running around like crazy, everything else, ended up losing about three days worth of footage that we had shot um, regarding the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger system and a bunch of the uh, video that we had shot um, in order to do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, products um, with what we are using now. And I am going to <clears throat> try to um, obtain another uh, Wi-Fi Ranger system. I returned the one that I had um, due to the results that I got from it uh, and not being happy with it. And so unfortunately I don't have it anymore, um, but uh, we do have, you know, the current system that we're utilizing. Um, I'll be able to talk to you about the differences that I see. And like I said, hopefully at some point I'll be able to get my hands on another one. Maybe somebody we run into will have one or whatever. I'm not going to purchase another one because they are extremely expensive, um, which was one of my number one um, complaints about the system. So now, once again, I'm going to go back to the fact of this isn't me trying to you know tear down any. Um, I'm just giving you a rundown of what we utilize and what works for us and we have had extremely good success with this system. So the Captify antenna I have on the RV, I have the other antenna that we'll talk about in part two on my trailer that is my remote office. And um, I have the USB Wi-Fi router inside the RV normally connected to this Captify antenna. However, at this time, I'm just going to show you the using the antenna in a single computer environment. And then in part three, we'll talk about how you can use either of these other antennas along with uh, many of the other antennas that Radiolabs sells 
along with the USB Wi-Fi router. The Captify is an 8 dB omnidirectional antenna. Now what I really like about the Captify is that it's only like nine and a half 